Okay, guys, as you probably saw from the title and the thumbnail, this video is going to be a lot different from my other videos, but probably a lot more important. I saw this Ragmo Sparking Zero survey posted on Twitter. Thanks to RhymeStyle. I was just scrolling Twitter, saw RhymeStyle post this. Shout out to him. I'll post the link to the survey down below. It's about the experience in Sparking Zero. So they say, in order to provide a service that everyone can enjoy even more, we kindly ask for your cooperation in completing a survey. The survey consists of 30 questions and is estimated to take about 15 minutes. So really not too long. And usually when they say that, it's probably more like five or 10 minutes. So we're gonna do this together. And please, I implore you, if you play the game, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Do the survey. The more of us that do the survey, the more likely things are gonna change in the game. And while there is a great game there, there is a lot that can be improved as I think most of us can agree on. So let's just get started with the survey. And probably first question is gonna be pretty simple. Yeah, did you purchase Sparking Zero? Yes. Uh, select the option that applies to your situation with the official release. I played it, but I'm not currently. I'm currently playing it. I just recorded a video on it, in fact. Which platform? PS5. Can't click multiple? Anyways. PS5. Which version you purchased? Uh, I got the Ultimate Edition Digital. I think that's the one with the DLCs and stuff. How did you get Dragon Ball Spartan Zero? I pre-ordered the game. Yeah, I pre-ordered it. Okay, so pretty simple questions at first. What were the reasons you pre-ordered? I'm just waiting until we get to the parts where they asked me to provide feedback. What were the reasons? I wanted to play through early access. Pre-order bonuses were appealing, I guess. And I want to get on release day. So all the above, pretty much. Overall level of satisfaction with the game. Wow, this is interesting. So it's definitely not a 10. Actually, the part of the reason that I'm posting this video and making just a short little easy video today is because I'm also working on a kind of a review of the whole game. And I'm not going to spoil my rating there. Maybe about a, a seven. I say, I'd say a seven in terms of satisfaction. Current play status of Sparking Zero. Oh, way more than 50 hours for sure. I'm well over 100. What are the most important factors that drove you to buy or ask for Stragmos Ring Zero? Oh, geez. Playable characters. Used to play the Budokai Tenkaichi games. Characters from the original series Fate for You Created, yeah. Battles with simple controls. I mean, even if they were difficult controls, I would still want to buy it. New game modes. There aren't really any new game modes. Custom battles, I guess, but that didn't really play into why I bought it. Plays one of the original characters, sure, I guess. That's kind of the same as before. Custom battle, game graphics look good, yeah. Uh, episode battles, not really the reason I bought it. Definitely not the reason I'm gonna keep playing it. Trending, not really why. 3D action, sure. Uh, new characters, not in the previous games, I guess. Wanted to play with friends. If only I had friends who played, haha. <laughs> Come join my streams so we can play a casual, casual rank matches together. Maybe I can make some friends through it, through this game. But anyways, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I'm a, I'm a Dragon Ball fan, of course. Which of the following game features were you most excited for prior to playing the game? Online battles, before the game released, I kind of was excited because I never really played online Dragon Ball before. Except maybe Xenoverse slightly. Uh, episode battle, I was excited before the game released, I'll admit. I was excited to see how they did it and the what ifs. A little disappointing, but we'll get to that in my review. Custom battle, definitely. Custom battle, edit mode. The bonus battles, I didn't really care. The edit mode is what I cared about. Gallery, definitely not a reason. I was excited, but it's a nice addition. Offline battle. Yeah, I, I always loved that in the old games. The world tournament mode. If only it was better, but I, I was excited for it, but if only it was a little bit better. And then that's that's probably it. Which of the following game modes have you played? Uh, literally everything. I've played every single game mode. Every single game mode. Also, missions is not really a game mode. Can we talk about that? Please select one item from the following list that best reflects your satisfaction with the game. Dragon Ball Spartan Zero in terms of of each of the game's features. Okay, online battles, ranked matches. <sighs> Dust rank matches, you're not putting rank and casual in separate tiers? Okay, even even so, I'll probably say somewhat dissatisfied with the way it is. Episode battle, somewhat dissatisfied. Custom battle, neutral. I mean, somewhat satisfied. I, I, I wouldn't say very satisfied. We're close to very, but, but I'll, I'll leave it as somewhat for now. You gotta put like search features in there or something for the dialogue options, it just takes way too long. Oh, the bonus battle, that's different. Edit mode is somewhat satisfied. I'll leave bonus battle at somewhat as well. Gallery, gallery is what it is. I'll just put very satisfied or neutral, whatever. Offline battle, neutral, things could be better. I am somewhat, am I being too harsh on it? We'll leave it a neutral. 
Because there's certain things that I think, like beam clashes and, and basic things that I wish were just done differently. And since we have a game to compare it to, being Budokai Tenkai G3, I am honestly somewhat dissatisfied a little bit. Thought it could have been done better. Tenkai Ichi Budokai, again, a little dissatisfied the way it is. Especially online. Super training, it's, it's fine. Like, I'm satisfied enough. Missions, whatever, it doesn't really matter to me. Based on your experience, how likely is it that you would recommend the game to a friend or colleague? Honestly, like a three. Especially because most of my friends don't really like Dragon Ball. There's just very low chance I'll actually recommend them buying it. Especially the way it is online. After playing Dragon Ball Spark Zero, please let us know if there are any features or modes you would like to see added, along with the reasons why. Please note, for requests about additional playable characters, that will be addressed in a later question, but please provide reasons other than adding more playable characters. Okay, so here is the juicy bits. This is what we wanted to get to. All right, one thing, raid raid bosses or raid battles would be pretty dope. Pretty simple addition, I think, as well. And Budokai Tenkaichi 3, I don't remember the name of the mode. Somebody please help me out here. There's a mode where you could, like, fight for a certain amount of days, and then you would have to, like, manage your key and your health. And after a certain amount of days, you would choose whether or not to train or whether or not to, like, rest or whatever. You could go out and search for, for money or whatever you, you would do, and then you would fight a certain character after a few days, and they just got stronger and stronger over time. That was really cool, and that was really fun. They should add something like that, but what the fuck was the name of that? Okay, I just looked it up, and it's called Dragon Sim. So we'll just leave it at that. Hopefully they should know what that is, considering the producer worked on the last game. Then we'll do Mission 100, which was also in the last game, where you kind of just fought like 100 characters and they got stronger and stronger. Right now, honestly, I've been sitting here thinking for a few minutes. That's all I can think of. But you guys comment down below if you have your own ideas. But for now, I think that'd be that'd be good to have those few things. And that would satisfy me. Honestly, if they added all that, I'd be pretty satisfied. Please let us know if there is any content from the list below that you'd like to see released as additional in-game content. Do you mean money or do you mean just release? Gotcha. But it's supposed to be gotcha. If anybody clicks this, I swear to fucking God, do not click that. If that means gotcha, unless I'm misinterpreting it. Background images or art. I mean, yeah, bro, add everything. Like, basically everything. Features or items to reduce time. What does that mean? No. If that's like time savers for, for what? For what? That sounds like something they can charge money for. I don't want to put that there. Autoplay feature. I don't really know why I would want that, bro. This isn't a mobile game. Come on. Soundtrack. Yeah, more music is fine. Weapons or equipment. Sure. Battle pass, season pass. Don't we already have that? Emotes. I don't really care that much. New maps. 100%. Assumed items for recovery or enhancement. I mean, yeah, why not? More skill items would be would be nice. Features or items to increase experience points. Uh, I don't really care about experience points because at this point we're already like level 20 is already the max level right now. I don't really know what the level even matters. So skins, yes. And I do not purchase additional content. I do. So this is all this is all paid stuff they're talking about. I mean, we'll just leave it at that for now. Depends how they price it, but. I think some of that stuff should be free. Anyways, please select all the following ways you saw or heard about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Damn, that's basically it. I didn't go to their website unless I already knew Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was released. Out of the choices that you selected, which one was a deciding factor for purchasing Sparking Zero? None of these, I was gonna buy it anyways. How much do you like or dislike the Dragon Ball series? I like, I like very much, I like very much. Which of the following ways have you engaged with the Dragon Ball series? Watched it. On TV broadcasts, actually, yeah, back in the day I did. Watch the anime or movies on video streaming services at the theater or on DVD, I have, yeah. Purchased or read manga volumes? Uh, technically, yeah, on my phone. I don't have physical ones yet. Purchased figure plastic models, yes. Played mobile games, I have. Purchased console or PC game software before Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, yes, I have. Attended events or festivals specifically for Dragon Ball. Don't know that I actually have, so we'll leave that blank. I don't think I have. All right. Wow, this is a, kind of a longer survey than I thought. I've been sitting here thinking for half of it. That's why. Thinking about different features they could add. Which of the following Dragon Ball games apply to you? Budokai Tenkaichi. Okay, whoa, that's, these are long answers. Haven't been playing in the last six months and intend to continue playing in the future. No. Played in the last six months, but don't intend to continue playing. Played in the past more than six months, but no longer play. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Yep. Uh, this I will. Actually, I've played in the past six months. No longer play. Kakarot, man, very disappointing game, even though I played like 50 hours of it. The Breakers, no, never, well, I know, 
but I haven't played it. Fighters, played, haven't played in the last six months. Xenoverse, haven't played in the last six months. Legends, I've not played in the last six months. Dokkan, unfortunately, I do have Dokkan still, and I will continue to play, probably. I bet I don't spend money on it. What do you like the most about Dragon Ball? The art style is simple and clear, sure. Holy, look at all this stuff. Gaining courage to face difficulties rather than avoiding them. Yeah, that's that's a life lesson right there. The battle and action elements are well-developed and enjoyable, yep. The story is simple and easy to understand. It certainly helped me when I was like four years old. Understanding the importance of friendship and camaraderie, of course. The one piece is the friends we made along the way. The outcomes of conflicts are clearly defined, sure. Enjoyable people of all ages and backgrounds, yeah. Enjoy the strengths and achievements of the strongest warriors, sure. Can enjoy the journey of overcoming powerful enemies, sure. The story is understandable even if you start from the middle. Yeah, pretty much. I think so, though I've never known, I've never not known any, any of the story, so that's hard for me to answer, but the story doesn't have a somber, or tragic tone. I mean, it does sometimes. The series is constantly experiencing changes such as new characters, techniques, and story developments, which keeps the experience fresh. Sure. Sure, why not? I used to shit a little bit on new Dragon Ball being just too many transformations and too many new new power-ups and just didn't seem realistic even for the world it's in. But at this point, I've just come to accept it and it is what it is. The main character always wins in the end, providing a sense of security. Not, not, don't really care about that. How many hours do you play console or PC games, excluding mobile games per week? Well, damn, before or after this, this game came out? I'd say for sure less than before less than five ten some weeks less than one hour honestly when i when i was doing my recaps i'd say people less than one to three hours but for now i'll say less than 10 to 20 probably how many console or pc games have you purchased in the last year if we're counting sparking zero genuinely i think maybe only three if i remember correctly please select all the types of additional content you have purchased for console pc jesus new story of scenarios Weapons or equipment, I don't think so. Skins, I probably, I definitely have in the past. Features or items to reduce time, hell no. Autoplay feature, no. Gotcha, fuck off. Soundtrack, I don't think I actually have ever purchased a soundtrack. Features or items, increase experience, uh, no. New characters, yes. Battle passes in the past, I have. Emotes, not directly. Outfits or costumes, yeah. Background images or art, no. Symbol items, no. New map stages, yes. Accessories, uh, I don't think so. We select up to five of the following game genres you like. Wow, they're really going getting to know my soul out here. Okay, action adventure, yes. Party, up to five, so I'm not going to choose it then. MMOs, no. JRPG, yes, but that might get kicked off. Action RPG, yes. Survival horror, I like, but probably wouldn't be in top five. Open world, yes. Action, no, probably not that much. Shooter, nope. Puzzle, no. Soulsborne. I did play Elden Ring pretty recently, so I'll put that in. Sports, I used to love FIFA, but not anymore. Racing, no. Roguelike, no. Strategy, mm. Management, mm. Battle Royale, mm. Used to play Fortnite when it came out, not anymore. RPG. We already got five, so we'll leave it at that. There we go. And how much we got left? We got a little bit left. Damn, this might be a fucking 15-minute video. For console slash PC games, please select one statement that best reflects your view. The scores in between allow you to adjust your selection. I prefer to play for long periods. I prefer to play quickly. I really can't play for that long, so I'll put it in the middle. For single player games, 100%. I prefer to play at my own pace. Yes. I focus on gameplay. Focus on story. Mm, probably more so story. I'll put it in the middle because I do think both are important. Yeah, we'll put it in the middle. I prefer games with greater emphasis on skill and technique. I prefer games that are easier to pick up and just cuts off there. Okay. Put it in the middle. I, I like I, I like a nice challenge. I prefer games based on manga or TV anime. I prefer completely original games. Really no preference either way. I, I love them. I prefer to create characters or avatars. I prefer to use pre-made characters or avatars. I actually like pre-made personally. I will play console slash PC games even if I am busy. I will not play console PC games if I am busy. Yeah, I, I probably won't play if I'm too busy. I'll leave it there. I'm always actively looking for new games. I'm not actively looking for new games. I kind of am, but I don't usually buy them. Please indicate your gender. Damn, we're getting personal here. Fine, mail. Please indicate your age, 20 to 24. Now y'all know. Where do you live? I'm about to find out a lot about me, guys. Damn, Canada. If you have any other thoughts, suggestions, or improvements, 
or improvements or requests regarding the gameplay, please feel free to do so below. All right, this is the really, the juicy part. We can let them have it. Lay it on them. Let me think for a minute. Make Z vanishes cost more E. Make super counters cost a resource. Remove unblockable attacks from online, in my personal opinion, I think they should. Or just make it easier to dodge them because it is fucking broken right now. Allow us to increase the health of our characters in online matches without the need. Need for, what do you call them? Ability items, I think is what you call them. Next, definitely increase, increase the time limit on DP battle slash online battle. Huge one for custom battle. Add search bar for dialogue options, options in custom battle mode, edit mode, just so they know. Allow us to pause matchmaking in ranked. Because right now you can't, which is a little silly. Uh, what was the other one I was about to say? That's something to do with casual matches? Yeah, right. Have an easier... Oh, so I want it to be easier to enter casual matches. Make it easier to enter casual matches, i.e. without entering the lobby first and then speaking of the lobby allow us to change edit the details i would say edit the details of the lobby without leaving the lobby increase the amount of people in a lobby to eight so we can run a fucking world tournament mode allow us to Choose the same character twice in custom battle mode. Right now, you can only choose like Side Men or Cell Juniors twice. You can't choose like Vegeta, the same form of Vegeta two, two times, which I think is a little bit silly. It's in custom battle mode. Just let us do what we want. And then these are all things that I think they realistically could change and pretty quickly too. I'm not going to put like get rid of the JPEGs floating on my screen in story mode because they're just not going to be able to change that for sure. Allow us to fuse when characters are in Super Saiyan forms, which I don't know why we can't do that. It was in the last game. Allow Great Ape Vegeta and future Great Apes, I'll put just, just in case, to transform on a night map without launching a sphere. Add destructible outcomes for more maps, more than just Namek. Okay, guys, I probably edited that together a lot, but I've been sitting here just thinking for minutes whilst making this list. That's all I can really come up with for now. That's quite a lot of things, I would say. Let's see, that's that's quite a bit for them to take in if they actually read this. So again, I'm going to put the link for this survey down below. Please fill it out. You have until I think it was December 15th to fill it out. So please, please, please. If we band together, if there's enough surveys and there's enough things that they see consistently mentioned in here, like Z vanishes, for example, making it cost more key and stuff like that. So half my freaking matches aren't Z vanishes. Then they'll actually change stuff like that. So fill it out for yourselves. If you made it to this point in the video, let me know what else you would like to be added. Comment down below your thoughts on what I said, what you disagree with, what you would add. Like the video if you made it this far. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the join button if you feel like supporting me in a different kind of way. It would mean the world. And with that being said, take it easy and peace.